This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Right, here's the tea, here's the tea. I'm at work, as you can see, I have no makeup on. Now I wanted to address this very quickly before we go through this video because I think some people are gonna be like, yo, what happened? Why isn't her face in the video? Today I wanna do something a little bit different. Mainly because this video is not gonna be a lot of me talking, it's going to be a bit more chill, a little bit of music over me, basically sorting out this monster of a tray. Now then, last week I mentioned on my video, might have even mentioned it two weeks ago, I have a tray of stuff, right? It's a tray of stuff, it's overgrown, it's bad. I'm gonna pull it up onto the table in just a moment, that's why we are framed in this manner. Let me just kneel down for a moment and look real small. So I'm gonna pull it up onto the table and basically I'm gonna sort through it. That is what we're doing today, guys, real simple. I might not speed it up, it really depends how long this takes. I might just give it to you in real time. We'll see how it goes. I know it's a little bit different, but hey, why not? So. Please welcome, I guess this is kind of like a work with me type vibe. I'm in my same outfit as last time. It is a different day, it is the next week. But I'm gonna at least show you this tray and explain what the hell is going on because you don't even understand how shit this is. Wait one moment. It's an amalgamation of stuff. I don't recommend doing this after spending the morning at the gym. Deadlifting, I will be honest. Right, so we have this here. You're not gonna get the best shots in the world because this is hard to do. This is why I tend not to to do this on camera, I will be honest with you. This is kind of what, we, what we've got going on. Don't know if you can tell. And honestly, I've got some lovely specimens in here in places. I have some variegated and Sony eye right here. This is, I can't actually remember, I'm gonna level with you. Could be like Monstera Leschleriana or something like that, don't know. I genuinely have, it's not on this side, but it's on the back side. I have some gorgeous Raphaphora tetrasperma. That is the main mix of what's in here, I think, those three things, but it is literally all over the place, as I say. It's not ideal. We have some reversion, shit like that. I'm gonna do my best to sort through it. Can you see now why my face isn't in it? Can you see? It's not gonna work like this, is it? Maybe we should do it on the floor. I think we should do this on the floor. I don't think you're gonna see shit. One moment, I will be right back. Hold that thought, guys. Just jumping in here for one quick minute to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Both of my brands actually use Squarespace websites, both my Nurture System brand for my fertilizer and other such things, and also the Rare Plant Shop uses Squarespace as well. I find it really sleek and easy to use, quick and easy to update. The app for my phone is great, so I can see what I'm selling or anything that comes through in the way of updates or anything like that. Super, 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 super handy. I love the fact that if I wanted to completely overhaul my website, I could actually literally just look at one of the other templates and just change it. And all of the information on my website would just be shoved into that template. So if I ever wanted to do a complete rebrand, I don't have to spend hours. I could probably do it in minutes. And to be honest, if I didn't like it, I could probably change it straight back. If you'd like to set up a website, either for yourself or to sell something online maybe, head to squarespace.com for your free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much Squarespace and back to the video. Right, I may have maimed my hand. Oh yeah, I have royally ah, maimed my thumb doing that. Don't ask how, bit of a mull function with the tripod. Never mind, we'll just pop that in there like it didn't happen, guys. Onward bound, as we were.
Right. So, let me zoom you guys out. So you can see the pure carnage. So what I found was a shit ton of tetrasperma. Some is here, don't know if you can see my hand or not. There is also a fucking, such a nice specimen here, I can't even tell you. I need to show you how good this is. Look how nice that is. That's absolutely stunning. We're definitely propagating that. Not a lot of variegated Anzonii, but then we've got a shit ton of this Monstera stuff, like loads of stuff. Like you probably can't see it very well from where you are. There's quite a lot of them that have sent out runners and then started full plants from the runners, which is just great. So they're kind of all over the place. What I'm thinking of doing is starting on the Tetra because that's just the best and the Adansonii and basically potting them up and I'm going to put them in here. I'm showing you this now. This is literally just a clean tray. I'll probably move it out of the way temporarily and I'm going to make some cuts in the Adansonii, make some cuts in the beautiful, like really beautiful Tetra here and get some good props out of it. Oh my God, how nice is this? Literally, okay, you need to see this, you need to see this. I know it's a bit singed, but how amazing is this? What a good mother plant, what a good mother plant. So I'm gonna do that. So I guess now it is, oh, crouch down. I don't know where to be today. Um, it's like a time, essentially. So I'm gonna put the music back on again because it's gonna be really noisy. So that's my next plan. Tackle the Tetra, tackle the Adansonii, then we'll see where we're at. It might just be a case of I get sick, I need to trim some of the Monstera, group it and come back to it a later date. We'll see how we get on, we'll see how we get on. So I'm gonna move this tray and I'm gonna get some lecker. I'm gonna pot. So back to the music.
And this, guys, this right here is basically what we've got done today. Now, there is more. I'm not going to sit here and say there isn't more. There's a lot more hanging around. I'll zoom you out in just a second, but I wanted you to see the awesomeness of what I have done. These are my props. So I've started as I actually do any day in the shop. I start my props from sort of the most viable to the least viable when I do my work. So I've gone through and I've taken obviously the plant that I thought was more viable. I am not going to start on this big green one. I'm going to do these first and get these going and get them a head start. That makes the most sense. I'm going to zoom out. Oh, I'm out of breath and show you what's left. This is, <laughs> this is the arena of shit that is lying around. Now I've got some here. Hopefully you can see. Um, this is actually really decent. It's just not going to get done today because I'm sort of running out of time because it's been a while. I have, oh, I should mention this. I don't know if people caught me doing this on camera or not. I have some additional cuttings here, right? I'm actually not going to plant them. I show them here? Yes, probably. So I have some additional cuttings here. I have some raff here, and then I have one bit of Adansonia that's, that's probably going to die, I'm going to be honest. But if you'll notice, they don't really have any roots. So what I'm actually going to do is it's something I've been doing very recently because it helps the viability of the cuttings. I'm not going to actually plant these. I'm going to put these in water and I'm going to root them in water to get them going prior to them going into liquor. You don't have to do it. I just think it's a very foolproof way of doing it. So that is literally the reason why I have these three gorgeous cuttings like this. Let me show you it a little bit better with literally no root on it at all. Obviously it will get a root. I'm sure it will be fine. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's no love lost. Admittedly, that's quite a small node. But if I take, for example, this other cutting, swapsy swapsy here, great variegation on the cutting, plenty of node there plenty of time to get a root. So I'm actually gonna just literally shove these together. There's no other reason to separate them. Put them in a glass of water, only about an inch in the bottom, whatever. Keep checking on it, all the rest. They should root that way. But that right there is something I'm quite proud of. And it takes a long time. This honestly takes a long time. I probably sped up some of that, but it takes a while. Do you know what I mean? It really, really does. One moment, because we're gonna run out of time yet again. So now what I would typically do is I would, well, I'd put these on a shelf first because there's not a lot of point watering them before you have to lift them, if you see what I'm saying. So I would put them on a shelf of my choice, water them through, perhaps feed them. I could take it, I could leave it. That's basically what I'm doing. So the question is, the question is, what are we doing with the rest? I'm probably going to put them more or less into the tray that they were in. Maybe a bit of a cleaner tray, admittedly. Stack them up again, but this time I can make them a little bit more you know, friendly, I guess, to deal with. And then I can continue it on another day. If it gets bumped down the priority list, fine. As far as I'm concerned, I've done the higher priority stuff and that's why I work this way. Because there's only one of me here, there's a lot of plants. It is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed that video. That's a little bit about my process and what I do. Again, I know, <laughs> I know it's giving, it's giving 2020 documentary vibes. Completely get that, but hey ho what you gotta do this is just generally me every single day so a bit of realness i guess but all in all a good couple of hours work today obviously i've done more than this i'm gonna tidy up now and i guess i will see you guys very soon next week probably for your next video if you have any requests let me know down in the comments below if you like this style of video i can keep doing it I probably will look more low-key, obviously. Not a lot of point putting makeup on for this shit. You see what I'm saying? Um, but let me know if you like this and you're interested in seeing my process because I'm more than happy to do it for you. So anyway, I need to get these in water and stop waving them around. If you like this video, guys, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that you like my content and you enjoy what I make for you. If you have not subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you could do so. Similarly, I have my merch. If I just lean back like this. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? I have my merch and my link below if you fancy it. This is a, I think it's a small, you can get them all the way up to like 3XL. I think it's very inclusive. I think I do tank tops. I do hoodies. I do sweatshirts. I do it all. I just wear t-shirts in here because it's quite warm. But anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.